Over the past 10 years, I've been living two different lives. The life that my fr family, my friends, my colleagues, my teammates see. But then there's the life that I see, that I live and that I feel. Depression creeps up on you quietly. At the very beginning, you struggle with the little things, but you usually choose to ignore them. It's like a headache. You'll tell yourself it's temporary and it'll pass. It's just another bad day. But it's not. You're stuck in this state of mind. You get used to putting on a social mask and you continue to live among other people because that's what you have to do. That's what others do. But what we fear the most isn't the dark place that we're in or the dark times that we're going to go through or what we're capable of doing. What we actually fear the most is that our friends won't understand that we'll lose them that our family won't know what we're going through or won't get it. That our colleagues will look at us differently or that we may even lose our jobs. But that's just a stigma that we believe in exists inside ourselves. I felt a funeral in my brain and mourners to and fro kept treading, treading till I felt that sense was breaking through. And when they all were seated, a service like a drum kept beating beating till I felt my mind was going numb. It was tough. But as they say, when there is will, there is always a way. You see, Loneliness is a peculiar feeling. It feels like the world with all its atrocities comes crashing down on you and just a second later, you feel nothing. You feel numb. You feel like a stranger inside your own home. You feel like burying your head in a pillow at 6 in the evening and feel like dancing to the slowest of song at 12 in the night, all by yourself. It's different. It's new. And it's tiring. Getting out of bed every day seems like a tough job. A job that I want to quit. Not always, but sometimes. It's funny, because there are times when you feel like clenching your hair for no apparent reason and smashing your glasses even though you know you won't be able to see. You laugh at your own jokes that probably scares people away because they just assume you're crazy. You feel distant, but from something that doesn't even exist. I want to cut my hair but at the same time, I'm scared that if I do, people would call me names. I want to talk to someone about the whole other galaxy that rests inside my head but as I pick up my phone, I realize that I don't have anyone to talk to. No, I'm not. I feel cranky, I feel dizzy, I feel like the world is a mess and I'm just adding to the chaos. I feel like my life has no purpose, I'm useless, I'm a failure, but there's nothing I can do. I'm not talented and maybe, just maybe, I'm not capable of making a difference. I feel like the world is revolving, but just not for me. I feel like giving up on myself, on life. Loneliness, huh? You crave for a way out, don't you? A friend, maybe? But what if you don't have one? Drugs? Yes, sounds good. At least you'll be able to live with yourself. You promise, just one sniff or just a single sip isn't gonna affect you. And you'll get over the addiction or won't even get addicted. But no, it's not that easy, is it? Life can get hard and drugs, well they act as the friend you never had. It feels good, so you never stop. But your friend would never put your life at risk. Drugs will. The sound of your shattered dreams keep ringing in your ears, as if a reminder that nothing's changed. You're exactly where you were a couple of years back, a couple of minutes back, a couple of seconds back, and you feel like time's flying out of the window, just not for you. The world feels like a box where you're labeled, each more daunting than the next, but there's nothing you can do. You feel like sleeping with your head in your hands in an excluded corner, 
where no one will wake you up ever. Yes, bro. You want to meet me tomorrow? Yeah, fine. I will meet you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, I'm busy right now. I'll talk to you later. Yes, I'll meet you tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Bye. What bro? I told you I'm busy right now. You want to meet me right now? Now? <sighs> okay. It's excruciating how the 10 minute walk turns into an endless marathon that just doesn't seem to end. It's painful how the shoes that once used to fit your feet are now thrown away in an abandoned corner of room as a mere evidence, a piece of showcase, a proof that you once tried. So my basic question to you is what does life really mean to you and how do you try to overcome these obstacles in life for me life is ever growing and ever growing uh, there are obstacles in life but that doesn't mean that these obstacles will remain forever as life gives sad moments but it gives us happy moments too so we should cherish these happy moments instead of keeping sad and and it doesn't mean that the sad part is going to remain forever so we should live the life for up to the fullest and enjoy your life and just keep and should just be happy so how will you explain or express your state of mind when you are sad or depressed explaining my state of mind when i am sad or depressed that's a very tricky question it's a very tough thing to do even if people like come to you and ask you what happened and like what's going on there are times when you cannot explain what's going on in your life that's the major difference i guess that's the major difference between sadness and depression when you're sad you're sad for a reason you can let people know okay this is this is happened and that is why i'm sad on the other hand if you're depressed there are periods when you're just crying and crying and even you don't know what for or there are per- periods when you don't cry at all and you're just sitting idly not doing anything at all and you don't know why that is happening it's extremely extremely difficult to explain your state of mind to a person in this world only because like two minds are not similar and you don't know what they'll think about you so how do you cope up with sadness um you see i have a very different way to cope up with sadness than what most most people would normally do i wrap myself up in a blanket and sit in the corner of my room now people generally assume that like feeling of exclusion is not how you cope up with sadness but i take that time to interact with myself to figure out what is going on in my life exactly and figure out ways to you know overcome everything that's been going wrong if you walk down a lonely road with your phones and listen to your favorite songs there's no better way to talk to yourself you can do that wrapped in a blanket you can do that walking down a lonely road if you feel comfortable if you feel comfortable with your talking to your mom talking to your friends that there's always an option but the best way i believe is talking to yourself So let us all rise from the ashes. Let's fight till the lights go out. And believe me, it's up to us when to switch on the light.